Hello everyone and welcome back to Bunny Marshmallows. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collab with I, Gaming Girl I, I, or Luna as you might know since I always call her that. Luna's channel will be linked in the description below. Anyways, today in this video, we will be showing you guys 10 aesthetic Easter outfits. By the way guys, I apologize that Luna's voice will not be featured in this video, and that is because I'm currently doing a voiceover, but she will include her voice, I believe, on her side, on her channel, once again in the description below. So how this is going to work is we will each create 5 aesthetic spring slash Easter outfits, and you know, Easter is in spring, so they're basically the same, but they are definitely more Easter themed. And we will each show ours first and then show the other person's at the end. Also, I apologize that my last outfit, which you will see later on in the video, was a bit rushed. And that was because it was very late for Luna then, and she had to go to sleep, so yeah. Also, Luna pre-made her outfits before the video, and I did not, so I kind of had to be aware of my time as I made them. Uh, but they ended up turning all super cute, and I think it was a success. By the way, we also gave each of our outfits a name, so they had more of that aesthetic vibe you know and i named mine and luna named hers so yeah anyways let's get on to the first outfit no more me blabbering yay okay but seriously let's start so my first outfit was an outfit that i named bunny hops personally i think this is the most easter themed outfit in all the outfits i featured on my side not including luna's and that's just because i feel like the bunny ears the hairstyle the cuffs the you know everything i feel like it's just so kawaii and cute and just gives me that easter vibe completely i love this outfit and i hope you guys do too so to compose this outfit, I used the Sky High Ballet Butterfly Heels, the Darling Valentina Lace Cuffs, the Fuzzy Bunny Ears, Human Ears, Ribbon Necklace, and lastly, the Keiko Hair. And for this hairstyle, I did use the bangs, by the way. And I use the lighter black as the color. This outfit is called Pastel Flowers. Now, as you can see, I was definitely trying to go for a more bright outfit, even though the last one, of course, was already very merry, you know what I mean? But I also did try to incorporate some more colors, like our classic pastel yellow and blue. I think this one turned out very cute, and um, the face isn't the best choice for this outfit, but um, uh, once again, I was on a time limit, so yeah. Once again, feel free to change the parts of the outfit that you don't like as much and according to your style. These are just ideas, and you do not have to follow them exactly. Okay guys, editing Sophie interrupting here right now. Um, I'm currently calling Luna, so she's just gonna say hi so you guys can hear her voice, cause why not? Abracadabra! Yes, okay. Anyways, back to the video. So this outfit is called White Easter. Now, by the way guys, keep in mind that almost all of my outfits took like 5 minutes to make, literally 4-5 or five minutes. Um, so I'm sorry if they don't have the most detail, but um, yeah, next time when we do a collab, hopefully we can do it at an earlier time so Luna won't have to go so soon. But yeah, this outfit is actually very gorgeous, I feel like. Um, and I don't usually use the action booty, so I did try to use it in this outfit. I actually tried to use a variety of skirts and accessories and heels and all that stuff for the outfits in this video. I did this just to give you guys some more options, even though once again, you guys can change it according to your own desire. For this outfit, I used this shirt, the split school braids, the bunny earrings, the Easter basket. 
and the human ears, the action booties, and the real life mermaid skirt. Now, the bunny earrings and the Easter basket are actually from 2019's Easter update. So, um, if you don't have that, that's okay. You can just add whatever else you want. For the hair, I used the lighter red, and when you put it on, it definitely seems more like a brunette than a red, but it's a pretty hairstyle, so anyways, that's the color. Up next for outfit number 4, we have Childish Dreams. Now for this outfit, I was going full on for the bright side and this is definitely probably my brightest outfit out of all of the ones I showcased today and I was going for the feeling when you're a kid and you wake up on Easter morning and trying to go find eggs and you know the joy and honestly I feel like a child's dream it's like this you know waking up all happy find eggs easter bunny you know all that stuff so this was what i based my outfit of and personally my parents never hid eggs for me on easter morning um they never really yeah so um but i'm pretty sure many other kids have woken up to funny eggs and i'm sure it was very fun either way Generally, this outfit gives off a very childish vibe. It even looks like a kid, don't you think so? And it just makes me want to smile for some reason. To make this outfit, I used the Secret Fairy on Earth skirt, the adorable lace-up doll boots, the human ears, the sweet cherry earrings, the dream girl curls, the magical flower, the goth lolita sleeves, and lastly, this adorable outfit. And the cherry earrings are also actually from 2019's Easter update, but once again, as always, you can change it to any pair of earrings. For the hair, I use the blonde heart. And lastly, we have Flower Girl. And yes, this is my last outfit, and yes, this is the one that I said I rushed the most on. So, as you can see, I was thinking of using all the three main pastel colors. So, pastel pink, pastel yellow, and pastel blue. The thing is, it turned out kind of ugly, and um, I didn't really bother changing it. But it still looks nice, I guess. Um, yeah, I think I got a good idea, it's just it didn't turn out as I wanted it to. So for this final outfit, I used the real life mermaid skirt, the sky high ballet butterfly heels, the human ears, the falling spring blossoms, princess star frost shooting stars cape, the tropical hair flower, and the candy braid BB hairs, and lastly this outfit. And by the way, most of these outfits slash shirts that I chose are found in the spring or Easter category. And this time for the hair color, I decided to go into more colors, go to blonde, and then choose the honey blonde highlights. And no, I did not choose the glowing version, I chose the normal version. And if you do not have the more hair colors game pass, that is totally fine. Choose whatever hair color you want, it will look pretty in the end, I promise. Okay guys, so those are all my outfits, and now we are going to go check out all five of Luna's outfits. And yes, I will show you what she used to make her outfits as well. Anyways, let's get started with outfit number one. So this outfit is called Blushing Petals. And yes, I did end up helping Luna with some of her outfit's names because she couldn't think of any. But um, she did a good job of thinking a lot of them. Anyways, this is the outfit and it is very adorable, very pink, um, definitely very Easter vibey, very bright, and honestly suits its name. So these are all the things that she used to create this outfit, and I will not say the names of all of them because I am afraid that I'm going to get some of them wrong, and I don't want to, you know, give you guys the wrong names, and you try to find it, and you get the wrong thing. So yeah, anyways, these are all the items she used to create her outfit. Her next outfit is called Classy Brunette, and this time you can see that she has definitely went with the more pastel blue theme than the pastel pink theme. 
and this one is very cute very adorable definitely very pretty and classy once again i love her little um flower bunch on her wrist right there i'm sorry i forgot the name Eek. but overall i really like this outfit these are all the things she used to create this outfit For Luna's third outfit, you can see that she kind of went back to the pink theme, and this one is called Sweet Easter. Definitely looks very sweet. This outfit is very bright and shining, if you know what I mean. I love the hairstyle and very, very cute general once again. I've also noticed that this one is quite simple compared to her other ones, but at the same time, it's very, very pretty. In this outfit, Luna included the following items. Now this one, Luna actually told me is her favorite outfit. And this one is called Pink and Purple Sky. And I can see how that's the name because if you look at the colors, we have the pink, we have the purple, and we have this pale blonde, which almost, I feel like, looks like a sky and a sunset. You know, very, very pretty name. And this outfit, yeah, I can tell why it's your favorite, but I think all her other outfits are awesome as well, so I don't know. <laughs> These are the things she used to create this outfit. And lastly, we have Blue Dreams which is Luna's fifth and final outfit. Now, as you can see, she went back to the blue theme over here, except this time she included some yellow and white, which I really love. I think this is a beautiful color combination. And I really adore this outfit. I love all her outfits. Once again, she makes some amazing content as well. So her channel will be still linked in the description. <laughs> And these are the final accessories she used to make her outfit. Anyway, these are all the outfits that we have made for you guys today in this video. Comment down below if you want more outfit lookbooks like this and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Luna's channel will be linked in the description below. And comment down below if you want me to do more collabs like this. Either way, thank you all so, so much for watching and have a great spring. Stay healthy, everyone, and see you until next time. Bye!